So, you've got a Marvel Hero Click set for me? Yes, sir, I do. It's called Marvel Studios Disney Plus. Oh, like the TV shows. Oh, I love watching those. Everybody does, sir, because they're great. Oh, I'm very excited. So what's gonna be in the set? Oh, we're gonna have characters from WandaVision, Loki, Falcon Winter Soldier, and What If. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. And I'd like to keep the set list pretty minimal. Say around 56 or so characters in the main set. Well, I sure hope it won't be too difficult. Making sure each show is represented in such a small set. Actually, it'll be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Well, how are you gonna do that? Well, I'm just gonna include the characters that I want to. Oh, okay then. So who's gonna be in the set? Well, here's the set list. So let me get this straight. There's only gonna be around 50 or so characters in this set. Yes, sir. And this is probably the only chance we'll ever have to make these characters from these shows. We'll never say never, but yeah, pretty much. So it would only make sense to put as many of those different characters into the set. Makes sense to me, sir. So why are there so many duplicates? Well, I thought you might say something about that, sir. Well, that is what I just said, so... Yeah. Well, you know how chases could be expensive and hard to find for newer players. Yeah. Well, I wanted there to be an easy way for everyone to get their favorite character. Oh, wow. That's so nice. And I wanted some sculpt reuse. I'm sorry, what? I also wanted to just make versions of characters that don't make any sense. What did you have in mind? Oh, you know, important characters like Monica Rambeau, except she's orange, Captain Carter, crouching and standing, and then Baron Zemo and T'Challa Star-Lord with their masks on and off, respectively. Sculpt reuse is tight. I also wanted to include equipment in this set to spice things up a bit. Oh, really? What kind of equipment did you have in mind? Well, you know the Tesseract from Loki? Wow, wow, wow. But wasn't the Tesseract completely useless in Loki? Yes, sir, it was. So what's it gonna do? Well, you see, it's a move action to use probability control. So it's basically worthless, sir. Just like in the show. And then there's also Red Wing. Oh, what's that little guy gonna do? Oh, he's just gonna be super confusing. Wow. And then there's gonna be the Super Soldier Serum, which is unequipped drop. So when the equipped character dies, the Super Soldier Serum just sort of jumps out of their body? All right, look, I've still got a lot left to go over, so I'm gonna need you to get all the way off my back about that one. Oh, sorry, let me get off of that thing. I also wanted another price increase. But why, though? I don't know. Consider it done, you little rascal. So that's basically the set. Aren't you forgetting the legacy cards? Hmm, nah. You know, the little cards you put on the outside of bricks that that update Golden and Silver Age figures to be playable and modern. Yeah, I don't really want to make them in this set, though. Oh, but we could make legacy cards for all the past MCU sets. I think people would really like those. Yes, sir, but I don't really want to do that. Well, with limited characters, a price increase, and no legacy cards, besides name value, how are we going to sell the set? Well, sir, I was thinking we just... Give a brick to unbox to any Heroclix player with a camera and a pulse. You know, really get the word out there. Well, I sure do love some unboxings. Everyone does, sir. But also, I want this set to have god packs. But won't having a booster full of chases skew the distribution for other cases and bricks? Well, sure, sir, but I don't think it's going to be a problem. And I opened an entire case for over $200 that doesn't even have a single chase in it. 